7 interesting facts about Egypt. Number 1. Egyptians didn't ride camels. The camel was not used to regularly in Egypt until the very end of the dynastic age. Instead, the Egyptian used to donkeys as a beast of burden and both as a highly convenient means of transport. Number 2. Not everyone was mummified. The mummy, dried and bandaged corpse, has become a defining Egyptian artifact, yet mummification was an expensive and time-consuming process reserved for the more wealthy members of society. The vast majority of Egypt's dead were buried in a simple pit in the desert. Number 3. The living share food with the dead. The tomb was designed as an internal home for the mummified body and the Ka spirit that lived beside it. An accessible tomb chapel allowed families, well-wishers and priests to visit the deceased and leave the regular offerings that the Ka required. Having been spiritually consumed by the Ka, they were then physically consumed by the living. During the Feast of the Valley, the annual festival of death and the renewal, many families spent the night in the tomb chapels of their ancestors. Number 4. Egyptian women had equal rights with men. In Egypt, men and women of equivalent social status were treated as equals in the eyes of the law. This meant that women could own, earn, buy, sell and inherit property. They could live unprotected by male guardians and, if widowed or divorced, could raise their own children. They could bring cases before and be punished by the law courts. And they were expected to deputize for an absent husband in matters of business. Number 5. Not everything was written in hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphic writing, a script consisting of many hundreds of intricate images, was beautiful to look at but time-consuming to create. It was therefore reserved for the most important texts, the writings decorating tomb and temple walls, and texts recording royal achievements. Number 6. The king of Egypt could be a woman. Ideally, the king of Egypt would be the son of the previous king. But this was not always possible and the coronation ceremony had the power to convert the most unlikely candidate into a king. On at least three occasions, women took the throne, ruling in their own right as a female kings and using the full king's power. And the last one, number 7. The Great Pyramid was not built by slaves. The classical historian Herodotus believed that the Great Pyramid had been built by 100,000 slaves. His image of men, women and children desperately toiling in the harshest of conditions has proved remarkably popular with modern film producers. It is, however, wrong. Archaeological evidence indicates that the Great Pyramid was in fact built by a workforce of 5,000 permanent salaried employees and up to 20,000 temporary workers. That is all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Until next time!